Welcome to Thomson Reuters Regional Law Firm Brand Indexes for 2021. Today marks the release of our law firm brand indexes for the US, Canada, the UK and mainland Europe. Following our global brand index earlier this year, the regional index allows us to take a closer look at the competitive landscape and key trends at play in each market. They were designed to track progress of firms as they align with clients' evolving needs and position for growth. And a firm's performance in the regional indexes is measured on a combination of core brand measures, awareness and favorability, their ability to attract premium top level work, both deals and litigation, and the strength of their relationships in terms of usage by buyers based both in the market and international buyers with needs there too. Now, each region is unique in its makeup and what it takes to build a successful brand, and this is reflected in the results. But there's also much similarity, especially in the way that markets and clients reacted to the COVID-19 pandemic. So before we look at each region's results, let's recap on the two key themes that emerged globally. First, in a disruptive year, clients gravitated to their most trusted advisors and firms, doubling down on their strongest relationships. And second, in a year where travel came to a standstill for many, global coverage remained crucial to clients, but it was not enough without a strong local presence. When clients couldn't travel to locations for business, they need a firm with the right capabilities that can represent them locally. While these two themes remained important in each region to varying degrees, there were also unique trends to be found which underpin the 2021 results for each market. So let's take a look. Starting with the UK, where ongoing Brexit negotiations added an extra layer of uncertainty to the market last year. Pinsent Masons regained top position for the first time since 2018, and this was an all-round gain for the firm, which increased in awareness, favourability, as well as top-level work and usage. Evershed Sutherland moved up to second place. They gained more brand favourability based on the development of relationships than any other firm, and this was a particularly important factor this year. Rounding out the top four, Slaughter and May increased from 10th to 3rd place, and Linklaters moved up from 7th to 4th. Both stand out for their ability to handle clients' most important work, particularly in London, and this was a key area of need for clients this year. Despite lockdown and Brexit, UK businesses' need for legal support overseas is as strong as ever. And few are better positioned to support UK buyers abroad than Baker McKenzie, which joins the UK top 10 for the first time since 2017. Mainland Europe was also impacted by the uncertainty leading up to the final Brexit deal. And here too, we saw that firms gained strength when they were positioned as safe hands at a time of crisis. So established brands with reputations that clients could trust in a time of crisis really benefited in brand terms. Yet firms can't be complacent. Mainland Europe predicts a very conservative spend outlook, which means that value, a practical approach and business understanding are increasingly influencing the brand index and will continue to do so as a modest spend outlook becomes reality. Here, Freshfields was the year's biggest rising brand, moving up to second place from seventh, with an increase of 15 points, which was the biggest this year. Freshfields significantly increased its position in Germany, which gained importance as a market as Brexit played out. Denton's had the second biggest increase in Europe this year, adding 11 points to its score and moving from 10th to 8th position. Clifford Chance increased by 7 points, moving from tied 5th up to 4th place this year, and Baker McKenzie retains its first place for the third consecutive year. Now moving across the pond to Canada, Blake's continues to dominate as it's the leading brand once again, making it six years running, and it also leads the market on five out of the six contributing index measures. Steichman returns to the top five, and Gowling WLG returns to the top ten this year. 
The top five firms in Canada stand out significantly above average for quality of advice. This is an essential driver of client attraction and retention in this market, which is one of the most concentrated in brand terms. To succeed in Canada, firms must answer clients' desire for more holistic solutions to their full range of needs. The top 10 firms in the index appear in clients' most used lists more often than any other firms in the market. So asking questions about clients' business challenges and needs is key to building a base of competitive advantage here. And finally, turning to the US market, where we saw the most change in the competitive landscape of any region this year. Here, Kirkland and Ellis takes the top spot for the very first time following five years of steady brand growth. The firm's strength in top level work has always kept Kirkland among the top 10, but this year a substantial increase in top of mind awareness propelled the firm to the highest position. Five new firms enter the top 20 this year, Ogletree Deacons, King & Spalding, Fagreed Drinker, Biddle & Reith, Foley & Lardner and Paul Weiss. Each one stands out for different reasons, but all link back to how well a firm was able to adjust to last year's shifts in market demands and client expectations. And seven firms have remained in the top 10 since the very first US brand index in 2012. These are Baker McKenzie, Jones Day, Kirkland and Ellis, Latham and Watkins, Morgan Lewis, Sidley Austin and Skadden. These seven firms have perennially remained at the top and their lasting brand power shows they're particularly adept at changing how they interact with clients to meet the new demands of the moment. We know that direct contact between lawyers and clients is one of the most effective ways to build sustainable top of mind brand awareness. In a highly fragmented and crowded market like the US, it's critical for firms to engage their partners in their role as brand ambassadors and use proactive client outreach to build mindshare. This top of mind brand awareness is the first step in building a stronger brand and in turn, driving up revenue and profit for a law firm. Having looked at each of the regions individually, a third overarching global theme came through from the analysis, and that is that clients are looking to partner with firms as they navigate the future. With a return to normal fast approaching, clients are now looking ahead to what's next, and they want firms to help them by delivering practical, commercial and forward looking expertise. This year's index shows that firms must never be complacent about the relationships they have with clients. Yes, history counts for a lot, but clients also need firms to help them by understanding their business, their industry and the market forces at play. The firms that can deliver on both the relationship and the future focus will be in a strong position. If you'd like to learn more about where your firm sits or the levers to pull to gain a more competitive edge, please get in touch. <laughs>